um, Malcolm Farmer, president of the Texas Legends. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Carol. Excited to be here and, and excited to jump into this conversation. Well, great. So, Malcolm, for those who might not know about the Texas Legends or about the G League, tell us a little bit about that just to set the context for the event we're going to talk about. Sure. The, the G League is the NBA's official development league. So it's where all the young players from the NBA, and in our case, the Dallas Mavericks, go to, to get better at their craft, to improve their ability on the court. No different than any business or any company. You know, if, if as an employee, if you sit there in an office and you read about policies or you read about how to do your job, but you never get to actually do it, you're not going to be very good when you first start out. And so the G League affords NBA players who might not be getting very many minutes, if any minutes, with their NBA team, the opportunity to go really work on their craft, work on their game, and get better in real game circumstances. Awesome. At this point, uh, I forget the exact percentage, but more than 60% of all NBA players have spent time in the G League in some form or fashion. Fantastic. So as I've learned more about your team and, and, and investigated your website and things, what has impressed me so much is your commitment to community engagement. I love that. Um, so can you talk to us about why that's important, whether it's mission-based or organization-based? Talk about the work that you're doing in the community. You know, at the end of the day, we really believe that sports is a platform to do good work. And, you know, in, in a year or in two years, no matter what the sport, unless you're playing for, you know, an NBA championship or something, people aren't really going to remember what the score was. In most cases, they're probably not even going to remember uh, whether you won or lost. But what they will remember is the feeling that you created, the feeling that you generated in them, whether it be at the game or perhaps more importantly, in, in the community work that we do. So with the legends, it's truly in our DNA to connect in the community on a daily basis. Literally the name Texas Legends originated with the idea to honor the true legends of our communities. Um, at every game, that's what we wanna do. We wanna highlight our teachers, our first responders, our police, our military, and so on and so forth to give them the true recognition that they deserve on a stage where we can bring five, 6,000 people into a venue to, to watch a game, to be entertained, and to honor those true legends of our community. I love that, that's fantastic. So tell us how you learned about Dispose RX um, and why you're interested in partnering with us on the event. So in, in full transparency, I learned about Dispose RX while at a high school football game here in Texas, specifically in McKinney, um, and, and, and received some sample product and it, it raised my interest enough to look it up online and was really, really interested by the cause that Dispose RX is supporting, um, or, or frankly, trying to eliminate. You know, opioid abuse, drug abuse is a problem this entire country faces. And while we've seen all sorts of different causes and initiatives to try to uh, help those who suffer from it, what I loved about what Dispose RX is doing is trying to find, you know, at, at its deepest core, what the root cause, the root beginnings of a lot of these issues might be. And the fact that they have, have tackled this problem, and in some ways, like their goal is to, you know, eliminate an issue. And if they successfully eliminate it, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes to the cause that they began to fight. Um, so finding a way to safely get rid of your, your medications from your medicine cabinet, it struck me as so obvious um, and, and something that every single person in our, our community faces, but you don't even realize that it's an issue. It's just there. And so to provide a product that can safely get rid of those drugs it's almost like you're you're eliminating problems in the future that you didn't even know would exist. Nobody goes into their as, as any medication in their home and plans on this being an issue of a young one, a high schooler, or or younger for that matter, 
taking that medication um, unprescribed or unmonitored. But it happens, and it happens at an alarming rate. And so to be able to address an issue, um, you're solving problems and saving lives that you don't even realize we're at risk. And I, I think the cause there is tremendous and something that we can all certainly get behind. Yeah, I can tell you as the daughter of a pharmacist, I actually grew up in an independent pharmacy uh, in Eastern North Carolina. And I thought I was pretty good at disposing of medications. Um, but when I began work at Dispose Rx, I realized that and it's not just human medications, it's also pet medications. Um, many of them are the same that humans take. Um, and I think we're even more lax with pet medications. So um, we appreciate the fact that it was impactful to you receiving the packet because we know with education and a disposal tool um, that we are definitely making a difference. You, you raise a great point there with pet medications and you just never, it never even occurs to you. Like, but then all of a sudden as a parent, you could have a massive problem on your hands and, and it's so easy to potentially eliminate it. And that's what Dispose RX is all about. Exactly. Prevention and keeping the family safe. That's what that's what we're about. So we're thrilled to be partnering with you. I've mentioned the event several times and teasing it a little bit coming up on March 6th. So um, for us, obviously, this is the first partnership with you all. We're very, very excited. But tell us what we can expect from the night. So look, at this night, what we want to do is it's, it's going to be themed out as Dispose RX night, right? Fighting opioid abuse, fighting drug abuse. And what we want to do is raise awareness for what Dispose RX is doing. And the, the, the biggest reward that anyone can possibly get, and I'm sure that Dispose RX gets it all the time, but is that you could save a life that the person didn't even know their life was at risk. So by building that awareness, we want people to be looking up Dispose RX, learning about it, and realizing, you know, in the middle of the game or after the game, you know what? I do have a problem at home in that my medicine cabinet isn't as secure as it should be. And I do have old expired medications sitting around that are accessible. Um, and there's, you just don't even think about it, but then it enters that person's mind as we need to address this situation and Dispose RX is a fantastic way to safely get rid of medications. Yes, we like to talk about it safely, but it's also so convenient, right? Adding water to the prescription along with the packet. We try to make it as easy as possible with the, the patented pack, um, packet and product. So well, at that night, we want to highlight how easy it is. We're going to have Dispose RX all over the venue with videos being played, testimonials being played on the video boards honoring some of your executives and some of the folks who've been impacted by Dispose RX at center court, um, even having Dispose RX branded on our jerseys that night, highlighting the initiative. We are so excited. So if the general public or those in the, in the Frisco, Fort Worth, Dallas area want to participate, how do they get a ticket for the game? Tickets are available on Ticketmaster. Tickets are available by calling our office. Tickets are going to be made available to certain schools who have participated with Dispose RX. So there's going to be lots of ways to be able to get your tickets. Um, and, and in point of fact, if you follow Dispose RX on social media, they're going to have some that they're giving away. So that lots of different avenues to do that. And if you ever need any, any help getting your tickets, you can always call the Texas Legends offices.